Thank you, Sheila Chibet, for that bulletin. I'm Mary Wanja, and let's get to the field and start with good news from our own Kenyans' athletes. Where Perez Jepchichil, reigning world champion of Kenya, broke the world half marathon record by clocking one hour, five minutes, and six seconds to shatter champ compatriots Florence Kiplagat's record by three seconds. At the 2017 rack 21 kilometers race this morning, Jepchichil defeated a strong field that included a compatriots, three time New York. New York Marathon champion Mary Kaitani and Florence Kiplegat who was holding the world's record. Jeb Chichil managed to hang on before collapsing immediately after the finish line where she had to be carried away from the finish area. Kaitani was close to the old record as well clocking a remarkable time of 1 hour 5 minutes and 13 seconds as Joyce Jeb Chepkosge set on that Olympic marathon champion Jemima Samgong was fourth with dream time Olympic champion Dibaba in fifth position. Efforts by the Kenya men to break the world half marathon record of 58 minutes and 23 seconds proved futile when world half marathon silver medalist Bedan Karoki claimed men's victory with a personal best time of 59 minutes and 9 seconds. She was thinking of running a marathon later on this year. She hasn't come out and stated where yet. She's not down to do a spring marathon as far as I'm aware. But surely the world of marathon running will be battling for her attention now as she comes through the 21-kilometer uh, line. Is that 64.56? Mary Kaitani is rallying. She's desperately trying to get there. But here comes the champion. And look at the time, 65.06. And that could be the world record is 65.09. We might have just seen a world record. It came at us so suddenly. I think, I we think have. we've just seen the world record broken. Incredible from Paris Czech Church here. Bouncy style of his. A little glance over his shoulder as he comes into sight of the finish line now. It's going to be quick. No world record in the men's race. Remember that world record of... Uh, Tedesse 58.23, but it's going to be mighty fast. The course record of Patrick McCall 58.52 has just clicked by, but here he comes now. Bidan Karoki, the 26 year old Kenyan, set a personal best 18 months ago in Copenhagen, wins in rack in 2017. And look at the clock 59.10 there unofficially for Bidan Karoki. It is a personal best for him by some three or four seconds. And again, he's out on his feet. Well done, Bidan Karoki. Brilliant, brilliant run. An enthralling race there. Hoping that one day, one time, we will run together. And today we have run together. So I was having a moral because I was running with them. So when I was in front... I and also in both ran that leg for his own team settings up. The platform for victory, Jenna Prandini did the Usain Bolt team proud, comfortably winning the women's version. And everyone looked to be loving it, with Lord Co complimenting Australia's hosting for the event. The big final event of the evening saw the great man himself. Afterwards, Bolt was full of praise for his team's efforts, with 6,722 fans turning up on that day. And Saturday's meet already a sellout. Athletic teams alive and kicking. Perseverance. Key word. Perseverance. Push hard. Anything is possible. Track and field. I said it though. I said it earlier. Anything is possible. And we won. And the build-up of the 23rd Olympic Winter Games is officially underway after the now traditional countdown clock was unveiled in the South Korean capital, Seoul, yesterday. IOC President Thomas Bag issued the official invitations to winter athletes and their national Olympic committees to take part at Yongchang 2018, an official year to go. Ceremony was held in Ganyong, one of the two locations that will host the 15 Olympic winter sports. Friends. One year from now, you will make history. When the Olympic Winter Games Pyeongchang 2018 finally begin, it will be your moment to amaze the world. 
The Olympic Winter Games Pyeongchang 2018 will open up new horizons. It will connect the people and the passion of the Republic of Korea with the world. Pyeongchang will transform into a hub for Asian winter sports. For the first time, the magic of Olympic sport on snow and ice will come to Korea. So I wish the athletes all the very best as they prepare to make their Olympic dreams come true. And members of UK Parliament handed the English Football Association a vote of no confidence as the sports minister won the, govern the governing body rather against playing Russian rhetoric with public money. Tracy Croach said the FA must bring forward effective plans to review its governance arrangements, saying its current model does not stand up to scrutiny. A vote of no confidence in the English Games governing body led by Culture, Media and Sports Select Committee Chairman Damien Collins was passed and opposed at the end of a backbench business debate. Um, a previous minister said when addressing the subject of... Order. We now come, thank you colleagues, to the backbench debate on the governance of the Football Association. To move the motion, I call the chair of the Culture, Media and Sports Select Committee, Mr Damien Collins. Um, and they say, how can that be true? Whilst we welcome that the fact that the FA has a facilities fund and invests £22 million a year in facilities, you know, in, that is a lot of money for a lot of sports, but in football it is a tiny amount of money. You know, £22 million wouldn't buy you a quarter share in Paul Pogba. You know, and, and against the huge wealth that exists in football, that is, we all believe, I think, that football could do a lot more. The issues of Sam Allardyce, who rises the team for 67 days, one game, walks away with allegedly around a million pounds, it is destroying people's faith in football. If we want to see better governance of football across the world, then let it begin here. The question is, as on the order paper, as many as other opinions say aye. On the contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. The ayes have it. Order. the world of sports and before I leave you I'd like you to know that only Ryan Giggs has been substituted more than more times than any other player in Premier League ever being substituted 134 times now you know I'm Mary Wanja have a good afternoon well thank you so much Mary Wanja from that news from the sports desk thank you so much for being with us it's a pretty good my name is Shiva Tupac